Go ahead and introduce yourself. Right. I go by the name King Greatness, producer, beat maker, instrumentalist, and hip hop man. Call it what you want. Represent the Southeast DC area. Yeah. Right on, right on. Now, I'm going to start off like this. What's your favorite instrumental of all time? That's a hard choice, but um, there's a lot of them. As far as like, so from some of my favorite producers, like some of them, uh, I get like a lot of inspiration from cats like DJ Premier, Alchemist, RZA. Like I probably could name like one from each of them. But if I just have to just toss up one right off the top of the head, I'd probably say Mass Appeal by DJ Premier. Okay, alright, I heard that. John. That's a tight one right there now. That's what another thing I was gonna ask you is basically who's your favorite producer or producer team and then that you feel like you grab the most inspiration from? Like I don't really got a favorite, like I can't just choose one. It's just like a handful. Like some of the cats that inspire me the most and that I feel like the best. Right, just give me your top three. My top three. Yeah. Alright, I'll say right now Primo, um, Rizzo and probably Bronze Nasty. I don't think I'm too familiar with Ron's man. Yeah. What has he done? Which, yeah, well, he's actually a Wu-Tang affiliate out okay. here, so Rizzo helped um, get his hand, hands in the door. So he, um, some kid, a cat from Detroit. Yeah. All right, true, true, true. Now tell me, did you, to make him beats, did you uh, hop right onto the machine, or did you start off playing certain instruments? Uh, this is kind of like a long story. It actually, like, started when I was younger. It's kind of funny, like, my sister used to tell me when she used to babysit me, like my mom used to leave the house, I used to cry a lot. I was a little spoiled kid and stuff like that. <laughs> and so she used to give me pots and pans and sticks that I used to just bang on. And that actually led to me, like growing up through middle school, started playing the snare drum in a marching wow. band. Yeah. Okay, so you were in a band uh, coming up which got you into the whole music band. Yeah. Now how would you describe your style? You know what I'm saying? Some people consider themselves soulful producers. Some people consider themselves make club bangers. And Things like that, what do you put your uh, style of producing into? Or is your main lane that you feel like you want to head towards? Uh, I'd probably, probably say that my signature sounds the social sound straight up. Yeah, cats like Kanye West and cats like Alchemist, like once I started hearing the records they were sampling and the way they was chopping it up and looping and stuff like that really hit me to the heart and got me really hit to that and wanted to do that. Okay, okay. Now, another issue about what producers I see is like a lot of people feel like producers are underappreciated. What do you think it takes for a producer to be recognized? What kind of steps do you think a producer needs to take to kind of gain his respect in the industry and be noticed? Because a lot of times guys are forgotten. The guy behind the track is forgotten. So as far as like trying to get your proper recognition, just basically putting in, putting in work and developing your signature sound and not trying to Follow them trends, man. Continue to stay consistent with your sound and cater to your audience. So, uh, can anybody get a King Greatness beat, or is there a certain way you choose to like work with certain artists? Like, how you go about that? Well, it's like, far as like, if I see that you true to your sound and solid, mm -hmm. you're not trying to follow no trends. Yeah, I work with an artist, but like, far as like people who just like just out there don't know what type of direction they're going, that's just a waste of time, honestly. No. Now, would you mind maybe playing uh, a couple seconds of like two or three beats for us? Yeah, and... so no problem. Alright. <laughs> Question, like, is there any King Greatness uh, based project, specifically yours, that we should be looking out for in the near future? Yeah, well, upcoming this year, late in the year, probably at the end of the summer, okay. we're trying to release this project called Living Paradise, okay. the first series of it, uh, Living Paradise Stockholm Syndrome. That's going to be the first of three projects. Yeah, it's going to be like a few instruments on there, but mostly collaborations with um, local artists from the D.C. area. Okay, dope, dope, dope. So definitely be on the lookout for that project right there, man. You heard it first. King Greatness.
I mean, you know it wouldn't have been right if we ain't let some voices flow over King Greatness production. King Greatness brought a friend with him. This man Raheem Supreme. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, so we're definitely about to keep up with a conversation piece tradition. <laughs> I'm about to spit on this one. Start it off. Uh. Check, check. Check. Uh-huh. Truthfully, I'm gonna face more scrutiny and mutiny. My head should fall off. All these niggas that be hating. And all these chicks that be biting at my balls, they try and hit me wherever I hurt the most. But see, I'm hurting folks. The more I succeed, the more they bleed, and I'm trying to cause a massacre. That's why I'm trying to have support from America all the way to Africa. Call it the reverse slave trade. Matter of fact, call it what you want as long as trade paid. Damn, I ain't doing, huh? I'ma let Raheem do it to him. I'ma let Raheem do it to him. Hey, Shawty, I'm trying to go and screw you, huh? It's like, nah, I kick it back, about to spit the facts. And the goal is something like, it's the verbal slang shot spitting, syllable slang pitching, flavor style mixing while creative flow sickening. Lady waist hip gripping, donkey dicking, late night hitting, Mrs. Supreme stroke me. Baby, listen, but fuck that. I like a fly bitch with a butt fat. Anything goes, freaky hoes, they love that. Sweet like Sugar Ray, Will Smith, Independence Day, cocky like Cassius Clay, Verb Verbs, I spray some. I fucked up. Okay, okay, I okay. Shout out to King Greatness, man. Shout out to his man Raheem Supreme. Trey Banks, the conversation piece drew on the camera. We out.